I bow unto you all. This is grade 11 science chapter number 3. One more beautiful time we have been learning mixtures. And this is video number 10. And definitely we are going to learn about the concentration of solution. And we will see how the concentration of solutions in sums or in questions that we are going to handle along with our previous knowledges also. So at the end of this session, you will know how to solve problems related to concentration of solution. Let's get into the subject without delaying. Now this is a question that is definitely prepare, preparing a solution question. Okay, fine. This particular question is very relevant to our previous lesson, right? But still, we are going to explain this one as a revision. The question is asked, what is the mass of potassium carbonate? So you want to find out the mass of the potassium carbonate required to prepare 500 cubic centimeter of a one mole per cubic decimeter potassium carbonate solution. They have given you all the molar masses individually. So you can find out the molar mass of potassium carbonate as 39 into 2 and carbon 12 and 3 oxygens that is 16. Altogether 132, 38 grams of mole. That says in a very explanation way, in a very clear way, that in one mole there is 138 grams of potassium carbonate or the other way how many mole are there in 138 grams of potassium carbonate that is one now we want to understand mass of potassium carbonate in 1000 cubic centimeter of a one mole cubic decimeter solution is 138 this is the base so this is the base and we definitely understood it this particular 138 is standard for 1000 cubic centimeter of a 1 mole per cubic decimeter. Now we want to find out for 500. We want to find out for 500. A mass of the potassium carbonate in 500 cubic centimeter of 1 mole per cubic decimeter solution is 138 divided by 1000 and multiply by 500. And you will get an answer as this 69 grams so the answer for the question is mass of the potassium carbonate required is 69 grams so this is what we did in our previous lesson also now let's get into the real one when n moles of a solute are dissolved in a solution of volume v its concentration c can also be found using the following equation c is equal to n above v now when n is in the moles and v is in the cubic decimeter concentration c is given in moles per cubic decimeter just like that so always you have to find out this moles per cubic decimeter now i'm going to give you a very easy way to solve this issue a solution of one cubic decimeter is prepared by dissolving 12 grams of urea so let's fill this chart and find out the answer very simply for this one they are talking about co n h 2 yeah that is urea i believe yes that is urea so molar mass we want to find out the urea and we found out the molar mass as 60 grams all right okay now what is the mass dissolved here in this example that is 12 grams without any doubt am i right okay now amount of moles to mole is you can get it very simply as 12 divided by 60 you're getting the answer and that will be around about 0 0.2 that is right this will be moles 
Now, final volume, you know that they are talking about a final volume. That is one cubic decimeter over here. So, as per the equation, mole over decimeter. So, we got the 0 0.2 over here as moles in this. And we have one cubic decimeter also. So, the answer is in front of you. And we got the answer very simply. Or you can call it as 0 0.2. 2mol dm minus 3. So you got the answer for this question in a very simple way. So if any questions coming like that, simply you have to fill this table and find out the answer. It's a good practice. The next question is in front of you. A solution was prepared by weighing 17 gram of sodium nitrate very accurately dissolving it in 200 cubic centimeter of volumetric flask. Diluting with water up to final volume of 200 cubic centimeter. We must learn certain thing in these beautiful sentences. What is that concentration of this solution? We are here to answer that question. Before that, you see that on water and sodium nitrate. Why they are telling that they are putting sodium nitrate into water? A solution was prepared by weighing 17 grams of sodium nitrate very accurately dissolving it in a 200 cubic centimeter remember that when you are making a solution you have to put sodium nitrate into water not water into sodium nitrate because the sodium nitrate is very very powerful and it might give a reaction and one more thing that you have to understand why it called diluting diluting means when you are increasing the solvent when you are increasing the solvent here in this case water the concentration of that particular solution is becoming less. So they call it as diluting. Now let's understand this question's answer now. A solution was prepared by weighing 17 grams of sodium nitrate. So here they are talking about NaNO3. Right. So sodium nitrate. And very accu accurately dissolving it in 200 cubic centimeter of volume flask. The final volume you already got 200 cubic centimeter by here and also mass they are giving 17 grams as well so we want to find out molar mass now right now we are going to find the molar mass of what molar mass of NaNO3 here we go we got the molar mass of the sodium nitrate and it is definitely in front of you and what is the molar mass of the sodium nitrate it is 85 grams so it's very easy for you to understand uh, 17 divided by 85 will be the answer for that mole so you're getting the moles now that will give you an answer as 0 0.2 mole as well here so you know that the final volume you have for 200 cubic centimeters so we have to understand we got the mole okay 0 0.2 divided by 200 but we want to get the value for one cubic decimeter right for that reason we have to put 1000 here so the answer is in front of you 0 0.2 divided by 200 into 1000 there it comes the answer that is going to be one mole per cubic decimeter yes one mole per cubic decimeter is going to be the answer. How I got it? Here we go. I have taken this one to 5. How many 200s are in 1005? And 5 multiplied by 0 0.2 is equal to 1. So 1 mole of per cubic decimeter is the answer for that question. It's very easy even you are doing certain questions like this. Now another question is in front of you to a 250 cubic centimeter of volumetric flask. 18 grams of glucose is added. So here they are talking about C6H12O6. And then after that, they want to find out the molar mass of the glucose. Definitely, they found it as 180 grams. And here the 18 grams they are talking about. So amount we can easily find out 18 divided by 180. That's going to be 0 0.10 if I am not mistaken. Yeah, that's the 0 0.10 is the mole that they are talking about. And the final volume, you already know it is 250 cubic centimeters. So that also you understood. So we are going to 
solve the issue here 0 0.10 250 cubic centimeter is the final one we want to find out that one for 1000 here the answer is going to be very very simple that is right 0 0.40 0 0.40 mole per cubic decimeter is the answer for that question because we're going to cut it off and get 1000 for 250 so 0 0.10 multiplied by 4 is becoming 0 0.40 mole per cubic decimeter so this way it's very easy to identify and find out the answer for the questions of concentration isn't it so remember there is a chart like this at the end of your session so you can easily solve because there are molar mass given mass dissolved is given and out of that you are getting all the moles in the concentration in the final volumes given as well so you can easily identify the answer for these questions and uh, i'm going to solve only the second one calcium chloride they are given 0 0.25 and you have 500 cubic centimeter final volume and then you have to find the answer for 1000 so the answer it's definitely going to be 0 0.50 because you're going to cut it off and take two out of this here Na2 sodium carbonate 106 and 2 cubic decimeter they are talking about 2 cubic decimeter is going to be 2000 cubic centimeter as per this calculation you see this one so what are we going to do we are going to apply it exactly 0 0.5 divided by 2000 that is right multiplied by 1000 so you can identify the concentration of it as well 0 0.5 divided by 2 it will become and the answer is going to be 0 0.25 the concentration is 0 0.25 mole per cubic decimeter that is right and the final one is about hydrochloric acid and here they are getting one mole and you're going to divide that into 0 0.5 cubic decimeter that says 500 definitely and then after that 1000 because 0 0.5 cubic decimeter is equal to 500 cubic centimeter you can say that so 1 divided by 500 multiplied by 1000 that's going to be the 2 mole per cubic decimeter so the answers are very easily obtainable and we found out how to solve the problems of concentration with this beautiful chart didn't we never forget to mention these equations in the right way and never forget to mention the volumes and moles at the end of the answer now we are coming almost to the end of the session the concentration of a solution can be lowered by adding more solvent to it decreasing the concentration by adding more solvent is known as dilution most of the acids in laboratory stores are concentrated acids mostly the acid solution prepared by diluting those concentrated acid are used for laboratory experiments they're using it and that's the reason you are just listening to diluted sulfuric acid dilute nitric acid things like that now for your attention as a safety measure when diluting concentrated solution as we already discussed always the acid should be added to water not water should be as added to acid remember this one it's because the dilution of concentrated acid is highly exothermic and may be very dangerous i should put very dangerous because i have some experience make sure that you are safe and sound inside your laboratory and we learned about concentration and concentration related questions very interestingly so keep following the chart and do more exercises that's all for the session and i hope you understood the lesson today and good luck to you all and take care of your studies bye bye